Scott. Thanks for taking time today and checking out the lesson. And uh, I hope you got your guitar. Uh, this, uh, this piece is in standard A440 tuning. Here's my low E. Okay, uh, this is based off, these two clips you just watched are based off of a piece I call Open Road. So that's my latest post. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's an instrumental, a little over two minutes long. That is very classically fueled. And, uh, and I know you'll like it if you haven't checked it out. It's got a lot of harmony work in it. But what we're going to look at today is uh, uh, the content that's in the second clip you just watched. It's very Bachish in its nature. And I'm going to just go ahead and show you the chords that we're actually playing over. And uh, it's D minor to a G major to a C major to an F major to a B diminished to an E major, A minor. Okay, so there's three different blocks in this. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you, and then we're just going to slow it down, and I'm just going to walk you through it. So here's what we're going to learn today. For the sake of confusion, I'm basically just going to give you, uh, to keep it simple, and then you just put your own twist to this stuff. That's what I do. Uh, this is a very common progression. Uh, it's uh, the I, You've probably heard it just with a little different spin on it, and that's what I do. I believe in that. It's what I teach my students. You know, take an idea, learn it, like your favorite lick from some other guitar player, but then put your own spin on it. and. Uh, you know, make it yours. Make it fit what you do and, and so forth. So, let's begin. We're going to come up to the 7th fret on the uh, G string. It's going to go 7, 6B, 5 on the high E, and then back to 6 on the, uh, the B. So we have... One. Then the second part of that... And those are simply like 6 five, six, and it's, that's a hammer, that's a trill, which is a, a trill, for those that, not, that don't know, it's simply, a, it's a series of hammer-ons and pull-offs. So we have a hammer-on pull-off right away, and then it's uh, eight on the B, six B, eight B, and then seven on the G. So, to play that whole thing out slowly. Okay, here's block number two. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be coming up to the 10th fret on the D string. That outlines a C major chord. So, what that is, is 10, and it goes uh, on D, 9 G, 8B, 9G. And then the last part, and that is simply uh, 10 down to 8, hammer on. There's our trill. And that's just 10, 8, hammer on, pull off 8. And then you land on um, 10 on the G string, 9 G string, 10 G string, 10 D string. So to play that portion out. Okay, the last block we're going to look at is begins on the B diminished portion of the chord progression. And that is uh, D string, 9, 7G, 6B, 7G. Sorry. 
So if you notice, they all have the same uh, format as far as playing them out. And that is just again, 9, 7, 6, 9, D, G, and B, then... See, that's the same. That is simply 8 to 6. The trill begins, hammer on 6 to 8, pull off to 6. So we have... Then... We, we land on the 9th fret on the G. 7G. 9G. 9D. So we have all right. Now let's put those three together. here covers D minor, G major, C major, F major, B diminished, E major, up to the A. So if you've got someone that can uh, play those chords out, then you're able to, you know, take what we did here. Um, basically what this, this little lead segment is, it's a combination of arpeggio, chord notes, and scale notes. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Sorry for the, the goofs. And uh, hey, back in the studio working on the next uh, instrumental and um, lesson from that. So have a great day and we'll see you.